When gamers awoke in Portal 1 to a glass case of emotion that was the Aperture Science Laboratories, they realised very quickly this was going to be a different kind of science experiment. And they were going to need something particularly special to get them through it. It doesn't take long to realise that things aren't quite right in this top-secret underground facility. Either being guided by the soothingly creepy auto-tuned voice of GLaDOS... It's not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise. ..or the bumbling ramblings of Wheatley... Don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. There's an overwhelming sense that you're very much alone. Well, at least in terms of other humans. Are you still there? In the beginning, there's no real sense of scale as you're just led through a series of test chambers with no other choice but to do exactly as you're told, led on with the promise of freedom, or even better, cake. Eventually, however, you start to feel a bit like a rat in a maze, one that's being watched from anonymous windows and pesky security cameras. The chambers themselves have a stark, minimalist design about them. There's an almost hospital-grade sterility about the place, but that all starts to slowly fade away as the tiny imperfections begin to stick out like a sore thumb. Are there messages? Clues? What the hell is going on in here? This mystery was revealed much more abruptly in Portal 2, where the whole facade was stripped back to reveal the giant inner workings of this enormous and now self-aware laboratory. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. What was originally an eerie, creepy and deserted facility had evolved into a constantly adjusting labyrinth of moving wall panels. During both visits, it becomes apparent that things have never really gone to plan here and that the facility is no longer being used as it was originally intended. In fact, on an unexpected trip to the very bowels of Aperture, it's revealed that each iteration of the facility has been built upon the foundations of the older labs, creating something of a living timeline as you struggle to climb out and escape this bio-bunker. Notoriously famous for its combination of claustrophobia and overwhelming scale, fear and fascination, clean-cut design and industrial madness, it all comes together to make Aperture Laboratories one of the most deviously deceptive but downright entertaining science labs we've ever had to escape from. Aperture Laboratories, a trusted friend in science.